you so much. Well, surprise your family this holiday season with recipes they will enjoy. Melissa's in the kitchen with some delicious options. Yes. Okay. First of all, introduce yourself. I'm learning so much about you. <laughs> well, my name is Eddie Zamora uh, at the Yum Yum Foodie on social media, and these are some tostones. Yeah, which tostones. I've never tostones. Did Tostone. I say it right? Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, you okay. did. That's on point. Now he uses uh, this special little device here. I've yes. never seen before. Where do you pick this up? So at a Latin supermarket. I mean, I'm, I'm from uh, Caribbean descent, so we call them tostones, but in like Colombia they call them patacones. Uh -huh. Essentially, they are green plants. And that's okay. what they look like in the yes. store. Yes, okay. and they're not ripe. So you want you want the green plantains. You don't want, want the brown ones. Okay. Right. You want the green why, ones. Why do you want green? Well, because they're not going to be sweet. Okay, the you want they, the savory. Yes, okay. you want the savory. So this is a savory dish. You're going to score these guys. And by score, I mean you just kind of slice down. And you don't want to go all the way through to the meat of the banana. Okay. Just through the skin. And you're going to nuke them. And the, the rest of the microwave, is, that's it. Yeah, well, well, no, there's a little more to it. <laughs> all right. You, you nuke <laughs> like, them. Like, oh, I can do yeah, that. Yeah, well, one banana is three minutes. Okay. Two bananas, six minutes, right? Take them out, peel them. Okay, okay, you're gonna peel them and you're gonna cut the edges. Then, this is when we use our bad boy here. Cut them in like one inch, uh, yeah, but what, like the size of a big marshmallow. Okay. We're gonna put them in here. And smash it. Smash them down. Yeah, it's the fun part. This is yeah, the part where you get the it, kids this involved. Is it. We yeah. were talking stress free <laughs> ways to get through the holidays. This, yeah. is it. this is how to get through it stress free. Absolutely. So, and this is what they're gonna look like. So when you get them smashed, but then we're gonna throw them in the oven. About okay, 10 and minutes that's gonna help to give them that right. crispy thing. Because you said the alternative would be to fry them. So right. this is a healthier right. option. So traditionally they're fried, but I wanted to do them baked. They're actually twice fried. And, uh, you know, That's puff, a lot yeah, of we, we want to have some lower yeah, cholesterol. So you can eat all of them <laughs> versus like a bite of the other one, right? Absolutely. So, right, cook them in there for 10 minutes with a little olive oil, a little salt, okay. and then boom, you got these guys. Now, over here, I made something called vaca frita. Vaca means cow. So okay. traditionally, that's going to be meat. Right. So it's a little different. Have you ever wondered what to do with a rotisserie chicken that's been in your fridge for... For days, and you're right. like, do I, is it one of those things i got to uh -huh. let it go? Okay. So I deboned it. So I took the meat off the rotisserie chicken. Yes. Yes. And then a little onion, a little garlic, and something called naranja agria, which means what, sour what is that? orange. I, I... Naranja agria <laughs> is sour, sour orange, and they're actually from uh, from Valencia, Spain, which is okay. kind of fun because if you're from S South Florida, you have that friend that comes over and sees the oranges there, and they're sour, and they don't know. Oh, they don't understand. Yeah. Oh, so, it's a prank. It pretty much, okay. pretty much. I put a little sour orange in there, and then I pan fried it, so a little olive oil. So you're cooking it again, and you get it nice and crunchy. Okay. So here's our little tostón. So you said this is an appetizer, great for a like a appetizer. holiday party, but it's also something you can theoretically have for dinner too. No, absolutely. I mean, if you want to be the star, you want to hit them with the hind when they come in the house and show them with an awesome, awesome, Good. awesome dish right there. So we're putting some cream on there. Yeah, and there's cream. a little, a little guac. On, well, not guac per se. I like to call it guac, but it's not. <laughs> it's a, you can do, oh, you can it. do guac if you want. And then we're just gonna put a little bit of this guy on there. Okay. And just put a little bit of salt on top. You can also do a little bit of pepper, or I. Sometimes we'll put lime, squeeze the lime on top just to get that little oh, tartness yes. too. And then as you're well. gonna want to wash it down with the milk. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And that's also good if you maybe you like a little bit of heat and you put a little like sriracha sauce in there, you want it a little spicier. Oh, also, yeah. the milk is gonna help with that too. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. So you make it your okay. own essentially. That's what and it's kind of fun to put these together. Uh -huh. You know, it, it's, yeah. it's fun to know. And I see this is something you can even do as a family, do it with the kids. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So I'm gonna do well, do you wanna make one? No, I'm just, I'm just ah, I'll do I'm, it. I wanna help. I'm gonna... I, do you see how he just totally was like, no, 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 it's totally fine. Yeah. <laughs> he knows uh, me. But he, which is funny because it's the opposite. I wasn't allowed <laughs> to do anything in the kitchen as a kid. Oh, okay. I was not allowed. Yeah, no, that was I'm the, not really either. The, the, the Latino yes. household did not allow me. <laughs> grandma was like, get out of the kitchen and go play baseball. But, but you said this is something that you did your whole life, like your grandma made them they, and your yeah, whole Yeah, my grandmother, my mom made them. And it's, this is kind of a way that every year, I don't know, I, I pay homage to them. That's I, awesome. Yeah, it makes me feel like I'm, I'm back home in Miami, even though I live in Los Angeles now. Okay, so this recipe is going to be up on the website, yeah. gotmilk.com. You'll also absolutely. have a blog if people want to follow yes. you and check you out. Absolutely. So across all social media, I'm at the Yum Yum Foodie. That's the Yum Yum Foodie. And uh, <laughs> I mean, lots How'd of... you come up with the name? Because all your uh, food's yummy. Probably because, well, yeah, yummy is something that I would use in my life all the time. I would see like a nice car and be like, man, that car's yummy. <laughs> Uh, so eventually, I think it just naturally evolved All into right. uh, the Yum Yum Foodie. I love it. And I think Yum Yum Foodie was taken by somebody, so I figured the, the Yum Yum Foodie. Yeah. Let's be very the particular. That makes it even yeah. better. All Absolutely. right. Uh, stick around because you're going to do a sweet recipe as uh, well. Yeah, for, for sure. Yeah. A little sweet stuff. A little All sweet right. stuff at the end of the day. Code, make sure. <laughs>